here. Let's start here. So yeah, the transitions are occurring and we've got the lyrics. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of composing in pentatonic parallel, part 29, full media expression, part three. In today's episode, we completed adding the lyrics to the shadow animation. And you can see that over here, there are 37 lines that we went in there and what we did is we ended up using the score to help us synchronize so here to stretch to stand to rock renewed came in at bar 572 and we were able to look at the notes and things and make sure we had an exact synchronization and the way that we did that was here we'll show you that exact point to stretch to stand to walk renewed right there when we hide the upper video we're seeing right in there Right there, boom, we're hitting the B. And that is the B, that's this B here. So we got all that done. Um, our next steps are we're going to render this. We, we double checked everything and double checked that all the lyrics were kind of occurring on cue. And there were, there were a couple of finicky points. For example, in here, there's a mid staff mid line there's a volume change that we want to synchronize with the uh, where is that here's a good place and it softens so right there, it they sync. So we got all those synchronizations working. So we added all the lyric overlays. We synchronized using the piano keyboard and the bar animation. We double checked and fine tuned all of those transitions. So our next steps are going to be to do a full render in 1920 by 1080. And um, then probably want to go back and look at how the transitions occur between scenes. For example, in here, this is a transition between dancing and the illusions. So that was a little rough because we're going from white against tan to white against blue. And it just seems like, and there's a, and there, um, the MMV animation does an eight second auto dissolve. So we, we might want to go in and add an auto dissolve here in the movie effect as well. So those are fine tuning effects. Uh, let's go ahead and that. E.g. auto dissolve. It's not really called auto dissolve. It's something something dissolve. Then we want to add an introductory title, end title, and um, there's another thing which is uh, we've been playing this kind of experimenting. Let's listen here. If we unmute the shimmer tone. Can hear that shimmer tone. And there are some places where we think that shimmer tone actually sounds pretty cool. Like in the uh, what we call the tax area.
<laughs> it's sort of a um, Close Encounters of the Third Kind duet. So we think we want to turn it off and on for certain sections. And, and um, let's just say that, e.g., the tax section. So to kind of wrap us up here, why don't we just play a little another transition area where we kind of show off the fine tuning and maybe some of that loud shimmer. And we'll just start right here. So that concludes today's stream. Thank you for your time and attention, curiosity, and interest. We look forward to seeing you in the next episode. And as always, keep on streaming. <laughs>